Our first step is to define a coordinate system. In this case, it's an easy choice. Because we are dealing with the compass directions, north, south and east and west are, is a natural choice for the axes. Our next step is to draw the vectors that we want to add on our coordinate system. We start from the base camp and we are going to point A. Point A is 20 degrees north of east and we are flying 280 kilometers. The next vector or, uh, or displacement vector is from A to B. A to B is 30 degrees west of north and the size of our vector is 190 kilometers. We are now required to find the vector that will take us back home. In our sketch it will look like the green arrow. Let's call this point point B. The answer we are looking for is the vector B to O. If we add OA and AB together we will get the vector O to B and B to O is the negative of O to B. So our first step is to find OB and then we can flip the direction of that vector to find what we want which is B to O. In order to add OA and AB to get OB we need to determine the components of OA and AB with respect to the north, south and east, west axes. So let's start with just drawing in the components. We can see that OA is composed of an eastwards motion of that much plus a northwards motion shown by the blue arrow. Similarly, A to B is composed of a vector in a north direction shown by the blue arrow and we're going west which, is, can, which can be regarded as going in the negative eastwards direction. So what we've effectively done is replaced this vector O to A with two component vectors and we can actually erase this. Well I won't erase it now because it will be useful for calculating the lengths of these components. Okay, let's find the lengths of those components. So we can see that vector OA is going to equal 280 kilometers times the cosine of 20 degrees in the eastwards direction plus 280 sine 20 in the north direction. Similarly, A to B is going to equal 190 in the 
in the eastwards direction it will actually be a negative 190 times the sine of 30 degrees east and in the north direction this blue arrow we can see that's going to be 190 cosine 30 degrees in a north direction when we add these two together we will end up with the resultant which of course is O to B when we add 280 cosine 20 and subtract from it 190 sine 30 we get 168 it's a positive number and when we add these two together we get 260 So now what we need to do is to combine these two vectors into one to give us our final resultant. Let's do that over here. So we see that our resultant looks something like this. where, just to look at our result down there on the bottom left, in the eastwards direction this is 168 kilometers and in the northwards direction this is 260. We can find the length of the resultant using Pythagoras. So we can see that the size of OB it's going to equal 168 squared plus 260 squared. Take the square root of all of that, and that will give us a size of 310 kilometers. The other thing we need to find is the direction OB, and we can do that by finding this angle over there. That angle may be found by using arctan. Arctan of 260 over 168 gives us the angle theta which turns out to be 57.1 degrees. We can now use this information here to express the direction and size of the vector that we want. So, as we know that this angle here is 57.1, we also know that this angle here is 57.1, so we can see that the vector B to O is 310 kilometers, 57.1 degrees south of west. And if we fly on that uh, along that direction, we will get home from B back to up.